packaging an InDesign file for printing. Uh, this process brings all your files together into one place, especially if they're broken. Um, so it's a preparation for sending files to a professional printer. It's also a great way to pull your project together after you've been working on it for a while and your files are in a bunch of different places. It puts them all into one place where you know where they are. So let's take a look at this file which I've created for a client. Um, and the files are in a bunch of different places and I'm going to try to pull them all together so that I can archive them and um, uh, send them to a printer to make a little booklet. So um, to, in order to do, to do this process, we start off by just checking to see our links are in the right place. And as you can see over here, I have a number of these question marks indicating that I have broken links. So um, first thing you do is just grab, uh, say, uh, the first link that you want to um, update. And uh, down the bottom of this panel, just move this up here. There's a number of options here. One is to edit the original, the other is to update the link. So if it's in the same place but you've changed it, you can update the link and bring the new file in. You can go to the link, which um, when you click on it, it'll bring you to that file in your document. So anything you click on, you can instantly jump to where it is in the, um, in the file. Um, but for this purpose, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, hmm, I want to find this thing. What is it? 100 underscore 3824 JPEG. i got to find this thing on my hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to click the relink button. And um, I'm going to come out here. And up on the top of this window, it's telling me what the name of the file is. Okay, so in this case, it's 100 underscore 3824. I just put that right in here. 100 underscore... Oh, there it is. They're starting to show up. 3824. Oh, there's two versions of this. One of them is this in this folder called More Stuff. You can see this little panel at the bottom. This shows you where it is. Another one is way deep in my hard drive. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily matter which one as long as they're both the same file, but I'm going to grab this one right here and I'm going to hit Open. And then it says the search for this relink directory and found five other missing links. So that's awesome. So I don't have to do those ones. I just hit OK. And uh, I look over here now and I can see that my files are all updated and linked. So um, if I had other ones that were in other folders, I could click on this one. I can go to relink and I can find this one and I can hit OK. And uh, so all, now that all my files are done, now I'm just going to go over to the uh, file menu and there's this thing called package and what package does is um, it's going to make a copy of everything so you're going to need some hard drive space for this especially for a large book um, there's a number of things you can you know click through fonts do you, you know do you want to bring the fonts the linked images all these kinds of things and most of these things you just don't even worry about okay and just click package okay and um, in order to continue we have to save it so we're saving it right where it is okay um, and then what this is doing is this is saying, let's make a new folder um, called the name of your InDesign file, and then they put a little folder on the end of it. And then we're just going to put this thing somewhere. So I'm going to put this, um, say, out on my desktop, and uh, I'm going to call it Visual Research 2 because I already have a Visual Research folder. And um, it's going to ask to copy the fonts, copy the graphics, update the links graphics, um, and includes an IDML for older versions of uh, the Creative Suite, like CS6, CS5. All right, so um, I want to hit package. It's going to go through the entire document. It's going to copy everything that's in it into a new folder. Now, this file that I'm working in now is the old file. So in order to work in the new file, I have to close it. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to go out on the, um, the desktop, and I'm going to find my new folder, Visual Research 2. And what it's done is it's created a folder. It has my fonts for the document. It has a little bit of instructions for the printer. Uh, this is what the printer would look at. It's got all the linked images saved um, fresh in a new folder. It's got my IDML for I can, so I can open it up in CS5 if I wanted to. And then it has the new visual research um, uh, folder. Now, you may want to rename this one um, to uh, whatever version you're on. Uh, so say I was on version 9, I'm going to set it to version 10. Um, that way I, I, it'll help me identify it um, a little bit easier 
when I'm working. And then I open this one up, and now I have my file, um, my brand new InDesign file. All the images are linked, and they're all in a brand new folder. Now what I would do is I would take this folder, and I would bring it you know, to where the rest of my folders were, and I would make sure that I'd, I know that this is the one I'm working on now. Take all the old ones and hide them. Um, you know, put them in subfolders or something like that. But anyway, that is how to package an InDesign file for printing.